What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks for December 20th here. Coming off of a not very good day yesterday for, I think, a lot of people. Let me know how yesterday was for a lot of you guys out there because I don't think it was very good for a lot of people, including myself. So we're looking to bounce back today. But we currently are on a 13 and 4 NBA run for these official plays. So we actually did end up cashing yesterday in the video. We actually want to know in the video. It was one and one if you do count the sweater play. I said that I liked Giannis over 10 half rebounds for the sweater plays. If you wanted to pair him with another sweater player but he actually had two rebounds stat corrected away from him so that was just kind of how yesterday kind of was a little bit so 76 percent run currently 13 and 4 so pretty solid run that we have going in these videos and i have two nba player props for you guys in today's video let's go ahead and hop straight in here but if you're not on prize picks i recommend joining for a couple of different reasons here right now we actually have taco tuesday on prize picks so we have a couple players getting discounted today one of these guys is julius randall getting bumped down from 24 and a half points to 21 and a half points if you want to join prize picks Link is down in my description below. You can use my code DMG, which will get you a 100% deposit match up to $100. So download the app or use the link down in my description below and then use code DMG. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. And if you do want to see everything that I run in a given night, my Patreon is available. We've had some really, really good days over on the Patreon. Just trying to get some really consistent, really. I want to have like consistent 65% to 70% win days, uh, pretty much. Try to get some sweeps in the mix there. Just trying to get a little bit consistent right there. But there's a giveaway, by the way. My Twitter link is down in my description below or just look up DMG. OMG props over on Twitter. On December 24th, I will be giving away $100 to four different people to show my support for those of you in the Patreon and also that support me here on YouTube. So that giveaway will be over on Twitter. But let's take a look at that Patreon here. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below so check it out so we now have over 600 patreon members in which is completely insane which is part of the reason why i am doing that giveaway for you guys so you can go ahead and enter over there you can join the patreon with my the link down in my description below all that different stuff and now let's hop in and take a look at these nba player props here we go so the first player prop here is going to stick we're going to stick with just a normal point prop here we're going to go with the point prop here and i'm going to scroll down here too i think this one's going to be very very popular today but i like demar Derozan over 25 and a half points against the miami heat today stay for the breakdown and always tell your own risk looking is a little bit more on your own don't go directly to just off of what I say. Don't tail randomly. Not a good idea to just tail someone randomly. So always looking at a little bit more on your own. But let me give you my explanation on why I like DeMar DeRozan over 25 and a half points. First off, he is a minus 140, which is solid odds when it comes to prize picks because prize picks is a set payout site. It doesn't matter the odds. So, but when it comes to sports books, obviously the payout is very, very different compared to like a set payout like prize picks. So minus 140 is pretty solid odds. It means the sports books usually typically like them, obviously, over the 25 and a half right there. So he's at this in four out of his last five games. He's gone over this in four out of his last five games right here. You can see he's had 29, 14, 32, 34, 28, and 27. So it's just a couple of his uh, pretty recent games right there. He's had pretty solid minutes too, 37 minutes, 32 minutes. All that different stuff right there. And Miami is going to be kind of depleted today without Lowry and without uh, Caleb Martin right there. So no Lowry, no Martin in this one. So we're going to have to pretty much lock it down with Jimmy Butler. But this game also has a four-point spread. So they're not expecting a blowout. Please don't be National Blowout Association tonight. Please. There was a lot of blowouts yesterday that kind of screwed me over a little bit. Uh, but 222 over-under right there. So 222 over-under in this one right here. So he will be on the road going to Miami. I think he actually has a better hit rate on the road than he does at home, if I'm not wrong. I actually type in here... Um, um, away so we can type in away here and i think his his uh he's been pretty solid on the road this season if i'm not wrong you can see all of his points right here it looks like he was very very solid pretty much all season really on the road i think he's only missed this one time in his last couple no two times he's missed this only two times and probably is like his last what nine ten games right there on the road so he's been really good on the road this season he's actually already played the heat this season by the way and had 37 points he had 37 points we just need 26 this time around for margo rosen and that was earlier this season in uh, october right there so otherwise last season in uh um, April, he actually barely went over this right here with 26 points. And the time before that, uh, in 2021, he had 28, but he did have that one time uh, in February last year, we had 18 points. So I like the spot with him against uh, the Heat here. Now, the Heat are a very, very slow paced team typically. I believe they rank like fourth least in pace per game or something like that, um, which is pretty not great when it comes to the, like wanting to score. You want to get more points on the board, of course, and uh, just get the ball into Margo Rose's hands a little bit more. So, uh, but I will say they are ranking pretty damn high when it comes to small forward points per 
per game. They're around the seventh most points per game to the small forward so far this season, allowing 23.4 points per game to the small forward. Taking a look at the last seven games here, we'll see where Miami is at. And they actually rank, I believe that's like 10th or something like that. Um, points per game allowed to the small forward right there at 23.1. So they're actually allowing quite a few points per game to the small forward position. I actually might have to do a little bit with DeMar DeRozan dropping 37 on them not too long ago. But still, I do like the spot here for DeMar DeRozan. They've been getting pretty, de pretty destroyed by the small forward, even with their pacing being so low. Usually they're a very, very good team. You take a look at like probably like point, yeah, point guard points per game. They're ranking pretty low. You take a look at uh, the shooting guard right there. They're still kind of on the bottom right there. They're really, really good. But the really the small forward is what has really been destroying them. They rank like bottom 10 in everything, but small forward points here. So I think DeMar DeRozan should hopefully be able to get a hold of the Miami Heat tonight, even without Lowry and Martin. So that is that breakdown there. That's going to be DeMar DeRozan over 25 and a half points at minus 140 on the books. Let's hop over though and take a look at yet another player prop here. And John Morant is a guy that I'm going to be rocking with here in the assist category. So he actually sold me not, not too long ago, unfortunately, uh, when he got ejected. He also only had two assists though in the first half. So, you, you know, probably would have gotten another seven assists in the second half however he actually had 10 potential assists in that game right there against okc the game where he got ejected right there which was just like two days ago three days ago he had two assists in 16 minutes but he had 10 potential assists really his teammates were just really not hitting their shots pretty much is, is what it seems like so he had 10 percent he had 10 potential assists right there but only converted to two assists which just really was not his game against okc in this one right here but i do think he could have a pretty solid time here against the denver nuggets tonight so he will actually be on the road here going to Denver. It's a two-point spread right here with a massive over-under of 235 and a half. So 235 and a half is going to be a huge over-under right there. They're expecting a lot of points on the board. That could be a potential good thing for this over. And if you take a look at the point guard uh, assists per game that they're actually allowing so far this season, they're actually ranking third in assists allowed per game to the point guard, allowing 9.61 assists per game to that point guard position. And if you take a look at the last seven games right here, they're actually allowing the fifth most at 10.14 assists per game allowed to the point guard right there. So it's really solid here. Even if you're on like a sports book, he's a minus 125 is what I saw. So I like it there as well. But yeah, like I said, he had 10 potential assists before the ejection right there. And that was like, I think it was just like pretty much the first half, right? I don't even know if he played minutes in the second half. He might've played like a one or two. But actually, if you take a look at like his last four games before that, he's been over with 10, 12, 11, and 10. And in those four games right there, he, I believe averaged about 17.4 um, average assist opportunities right there. So in his last four games there before that ejection with 10, 12, 11, and 10, of course he did go over in all four of those games right there. But even with a tough matchup here, it was a tough matchup against Milwaukee right there. He still had 10 assists against them right there. And that's got a pretty solid matchup here against Denver that I'm really, really liking right here, especially with a massive over under, a low point spread. I think that John Morant could honestly do a lot of damage, whether that's scoring points, whether that's scoring uh, rebounds or not scoring rebounds, but getting rebounds. I think he could have a pretty good day for like really anything today, man. I think his rebounds is a solid look P points PRA. I just love a lot of John Moran here against Denver, especially with that massive over under. I think he could, go, he could go potentially go over quite a lot of things today. So those are my two player props right there for you guys. More available over on my Patreon. The link is down in my description below and join prize picks. If you have not already link is down in my description below. Use my code DUMG. It gets you a 100% deposit match up to $100. Again, we are currently on a 13 and four run in these YouTube videos plays here for the NBA. So yeah, seriously, I do appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in the very next video. Hopefully you guys catch out tonight, but always tail turn risk. Looking a little bit more on your own. Best of luck tonight, guys, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow.